Righty ho, here's some more Factory Town gameplay on the Volcanic Island. This is episode number four, uh, where, where we're about to enter the Iron Age. Uh, literally just after we finished filming the last episode, um, we actually researched metallurgy. Um, so I'm just going to quickly change that to some new stuff. It has to be red coin stuff because we haven't got any blue coins. So about building medicine. It'll do. And they'll get busy doing that. Um, so yes, I want to sort out the, um, the whole making iron thing. Um, that'll eventually allow us to um, ex um, upgrade our base to level 5. We would need 50 iron plates, which we need to make in a forge, uh, which requires the raw materials coal and iron ore. Although I'm not sure if I really want to use these because it's um, all in the centre and a bit of a pain in the arse. But before we start thinking about iron, what I want to do is sort out the wood. And because, um, as we saw last time, we're starting to get a bit kind of fiddly with the whole sort of um, red coin situation and the wood and... Eh, whatever. So we've sort of cured the red coin situation, but it's still not brilliant. I've got an idea about that. Um, it's going to involve conveyor belts and also changing... I might actually destroy this workshop and actually um, take cloth instead of the wool. And because at the moment, the, the amount of cloth in here is just, there's too much to deal with. So I may as well be sending that to the market rather than do a whole additional thing. So there's going to be a lot of rearranging, I think. And first of all, what I want to do is get this wood from here to here. Um, automated. And also maybe demolish this one and have more shoots flapping about the place. It'll be breathtaking, I assure you. Uh, what I want to do first, and before we do anything else, is raise the land a little. I'm going to build a forestry. Where is it? Forester there. There. And we're going to shoot from here to here, nice and straightforwards. Uh, but if we did that, they wouldn't be able to go underneath the chute because they need um, two blocks um, clearance. So we do need a spot of the old scaffolding. I think I'll use wood. Oh, hang on. No, let's use stone. Because we've got more of that. Stone pillar scaffold. So it can go direct to there. We need scaffolding here. And then we'll need an arch on top of that. And then we'll need the chute. Um, yeah, I think we still need... Hang on, let's... I'm not sure if we actually do need... Oh, well, there's a potato there. I've discovered that you can delete things from the ground, like that. So that's nice and easy. Now we need to do archways. Wooden arch. That will allow things to be placed on top of it, but also people to go under. Which is all very nice. We also need a ramp. Scaffold. I don't know. I've done this several times and I still can't remember. Oh, we need... No, we haven't put the scaffold in. Yeah, there's so much fiddly uh, wanking around we have to do. Um, especially if there's ramps involved. Scaffold ramp. Do I need a... I think I might need another one. Bloody hell. See what I mean? It's just fiddly. And up we go properly. And we can put the chute on. There we go. It's not coming out. It might be too high on this side. Right, that's more like it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that go. And I can go underneath it over here, so that's okay. But bloody hell, that's a lot of wood. Although now it's um, the initial stock is now finished and now, yeah, it's a little slower. Um, that's going to be a lot better, easier for it to replenish as well. So I can actually get rid of you. And you as well? Yes, you as well. All fully automated. I might change that up a bit as well. As I say, what I might do, um, we seem to have got... Is that too many? I'm just having a look at the top right. I think we are getting more than we need. So I might divert some of them over to here using a splitter. Let's see if we can actually do that then. Splitter. Here we go. So this... Oh, hello. Ah, right, hang on. Before we go on. We've got some lads over here which uh, they no longer have any wheat to gather. So I think they can gather that instead. Let's just check the, the barn situation. Because there's a lot of them. Okay, that's the grain mill. That's fine. That's... Oh, God, that's... That's full of leather. That is a world of leather. So I'm going to uh, redirect them to put them... Put, put it over here. So let's do that. Ooh, that's some... That's the fertilizer, isn't it? There. Now they should sort out other stuff as well. Oh, is that it? Hang on, let's try that again. Uh, hard to get hold of these lads. 
Right, so leather goes into there. Fertiliser goes into there. And you, the wheat lads, I think grain. Oh, that can go directly to the grain mill. Get some zoom out a bit. Look at all those carrots. That's actually a good thing. Um, this potato, the, the potato situation. What I could do is um, redirect the um, uh, the potatoes to go to the food market, and because they can sell that, and maybe we can think about replacing um, some of the other stuff that we're selling, some of the stuff that's not necessarily quite so um, sustainable. Eventually, the potato thing can become a potato farm. Right. So, what are you doing? Are you? Hmm. Lumber mill. Neither f Oh, yeah, okay, you need... I need to put wood in there, don't I? But why? Why am I making more planks? I don't think I actually need to. No, I don't think I do. I think this lumber mill is now surplus to requirements. I'm going to get rid of you. Maybe... Get rid of you? What was this for? Nothing wants it. <laughs> yeah, let's close you down. I think it might be something um, over here, but that lumber is now being gathered by that, so that's fine. No, so that's God. They're just stood around, aren't they? They've got jobs, thankfully. It's just that like there's nothing really for them to do. They're waiting for. Oh, this is a very slow process now. But it doesn't really matter because leather isn't that important now. So I'm not going. Oh, hello. What? <laughs> You're a bit off track. God damn it. You know what? I'm going to delete that tomato. That's in the way. That should give them a bit of through, throughput. Although, having said that, I think they can walk through it anyway. Oh, there's so much to do. Hang on, let's sort... Oh my god. Look how much logs we've got. Yes, let's definitely do the whole splitting thing. Oh god, <laughs> the wagon's going rogue. Yeah. So, I need a conveyor belt to go over kind of here-ish. But I also want a conveyor belt... Oh no, I want a conveyor belt here, but I also want the, sh the wooden chute. Well, maybe I can actually do it all with conveyor belts. Right, let's have a great big long conveyor belt of death. It's going to be a cloth one. We can upgrade it to metal later. Oh, this is still going to need some structure, though. <laughs> so we could split this at some point. Can't afford... Oh, we're now bloody uh, wooden planks. Oh, I'll have to tell... Um, go yeah, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Um, we should possibly go into the Stone Age instead. Uh, but I promise you, when this is when this conveyor belt is done, it will be breathtaking. Long. So we've got about 50 of these in stock, and they'll be slowly replacing. Yeah, here we go. Everything's carrying on underneath. Oh, hello. That went wrong. <laughs> Never mind. Let's rotate it that way. So now we have a a thing. Ooh. 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 There we go. Now we have a thing where we need to actually split these. Although, hang on. I think generally we'll be going to the general store, but we do want potatoes to end up in there. So maybe. I wonder. Now. Oh, okay, here's what we'll do. And then I'll do a grabber here. So this... Oh no, no, it's a pusher. We need... So that'll push food items to there once I've got that all set up. Over here, what I want to do... Is... Additional bloody... Scaffolding. Um, so I want to grab some of this off there. In fact, I want to split it. Either way, it's going to need... That. And it's going to need... That. And then we'll have. I think. I, sh I think I might be able to do this. I don't know if I can use a. Um, well, let's 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 convey. Let's do the old conveyor belt instead of shootage. Let's see if this works. So we need um. I might be able to work this. Rotate. Right, so we need to actually set that to wood. Yeah, 
Hmm. I might. We may need uh, a better interface. Well, I did, I did replace one of the conveyor belt things with a chute, but I don't think I needed to. I just needed to place a little extra chuteage literally underneath the splitter, so it is, I've actually created a little junction there. And it is splitting it quite nicely. It's like one goes one way, one goes the other. Oh shit, where's it? Oh no, it's, uh, oh, hang on. Um, what I forgot. <laughs> is that this wood isn't actually supposed to be going to the market. It's supposed to be going to here. We haven't actually built that bit yet. <laughs> um, so this is going to need another splitter. Oh, no, in fact, this one's going to need a pusher, because we need all of them. In fact, we could... I wonder if I could just do that. I mean, that's a bit peculiar. I'm not quite sure if it'll actually do this, but... Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, I've run out of red coins. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to, have to temporarily... Um, irritatingly. Stop the conveyor belt. Um, and then we'll fix it once we've actually earned some more red coins. In fact, this will be a good opportunity to um, sort this whole thing out. I'm going to temporarily make it so that the wagon... Let's build a road. I'm just going to be... Like that. So the wagon is going to now, instead of taking... Instead of taking uh, cloth to here. It's going to go from here all the way to the general store. Which will like them cut out the middleman over here entirely. So let's just take that off. Where's it going? Where's the wagon going? Oh my god! Mate! Oh you... Oh! You just directly supplied that mate! With, with cloth! How bizarre! It's got mind of its bloody own. Look, look how much cloth we've got here. And because we're using so little of the cloth in the actual conveyor beltage, I mean, it's so slow, yes, but we are doing it. So we may as well take the excess stuff straight to market over here. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for now. I think I might just delete this building. God, this stone's running out sharpish. God, look at this. <laughs> this is actually going to cause chaos. Right, so yeah, hopefully this will um, get us... Oh, God, yes. This will actually sell for a lot more. Uh, and we'll get us more red coins. However, we are spending red coins very fast because of the whole school thing. And I think we're using it for something else. I can't remember what. But yeah, we're not making enough again. Hmm. Every time we deliver some cloth, we get a bunch. Like 12 or 16, I think. But then the red coins very quickly deplete. Right, so we've completed medicine research. I've also taken off temporarily boat building, which was taking forever and we'd hardly have even started it. Um, so I'm going to leave that for a bit. Let us get some uh, red coins um, built up. Now there's a thing which I'm doing here. I'm going to automate the the wagon, the cloth wagon, even though we've only just made it. And also I, this whole thing here, this, um, this cloth making enterprise is going quite slowly. Um, we, I think we have, um, I've already put some, conve some conveyor belts before we even started. Uh, there's a fertiliser backdraft thing going on. So this is not as fast as I'd like it. This is, seems to be quite fast. We've got five workers on the case. Uh, the grain mill, um, that's... Well, there's no point in assigning more workers there. But look over here. Um, our input is incredibly full. Um, and we're just not working very fast at all. So I'm going to really motor along here. Which means we'll be getting more... Um, cloth made, but then you look. In fact, this is actually quite slow as well. Let's give him the full fella. There we go, that's going to be a lot more cloth. And unfortunately, we're still... Red coin-wise, we're still really going for it. The, th the trouble is, is we've got two foresters on the go. Um, I'm going to delete one of them, like I said I was going to. And once... Well, for, unfortunately, we actually do kind of need to wait until we've... This is a bit of a catch-22 situation, because I need to make some red coins so I can spend them. Um, to actually make us red coins. Uh, so I'm hoping um, we're going to build up a stash, but once the cloth thing... I mean, every time the cloth thing goes into here, we get coin. So pause. We've got 16. Now we're going to put that quickly to use. Logistics. We need a grabber here. Uh, which is going to grab just the cloth. There we go. Uh, I'm going to leave the wagon running 
until... Actually, no, I might as well get rid of it. Yeah, let's get rid of the wagon. Oh, wagon, what did I just do? I just deleted something, I think. Oh, there we go, it's because it, I still have the grabber interface. Right, there we go. So this is now going directly to the market. I put a potato filter on there. Unfortunately, you can only filter one thing, uh, which means this is not ideal. Uh, I might might make it so the conveyor belt runs along here, and then... Nah, whatever. Oh, God. Oh, God, there's this, isn't there? Right, I need more red coins. Oh, bloody hell. I know what we'll do. Hang on. There. Quick and dirty hack. <laughs> that wood situation needs to be resolved. But we're not... Uh, well, uh, we'll sort that out now. I'll finally put a, um, something that will spit out wood into this thing here. There he goes. Coin! More coin. There we go. And now I can finally do this with any luck. Oh god, there's no cloth coming anymore. Hmm. Right, let's put this as wood. It's already getting very complicated. <laughs> There's the wood. Right to the top. And we can finally put back the belt. I say finally, it was only about 30 seconds ago. Why is the gnome cloth being made now? Something's gone wrong here. We're making that. Oh, I, must, I think I deleted a mate. That's what I did. Oh, no, I don't think so. There's some... Oh, the, the, our cloth thing is full. Uh, oh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, yes, I did actually delete... Oh, god damn it. I did delete stuff. Um, yeah, I deleted the bloody... Uh, grabber, didn't I? Oh, no, I've... Oh, I've got no red coins again. <laughs> oh, piss. Right, a little magic later. And I discovered that the pusher had to, um... I couldn't just, like, use gravity to push it onto the existing thing, so I've had to tweak that a bit. Which does actually mean uh, the, this forestry is now no longer required. Oh! <laughs> yeah. So we, have, we do have some rogue shoot, shootage here, which we may as well get rid of. I wonder if we can actually just delete... I can't seem to get rid of that underneath. Where is it? There we go. There. This is more like it. Right, the cloth. Oh, here we go. The cloth has been allowed in, which is good, because we need the coin. So the cloth is going to market. The wood is going to the lumber mill. There's a bit of an awkward divide here. I think there's a there's an issue here. Oh, that's because we haven't got any research going. Ah. And we're going to need... We're going to actually need to do this, just so we're actually using up the, 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 the wood. Oh, God. This is producing shitloads, isn't it? This is really going for it. I think we might have um, overloaded the conveyor belt. Oh dear. Well, it's kind of like taking some of each, so I think it's, it must be a random uh, random chance thing going on here. Oh shit, look at this! Look at the red coins now! Holy shit, that's some... Well, now we've got rid of the forest. We've only really got one forester going on. And we're still... But we are using up... No, it's, it's all good. It's all good. We are using up some of the red coins on and boat building. Although this is going to take some time by the looks of it. I think we may need to um, speed this up. This was making planks for some reason as well. I'm not sure why I did that. But that should... Yeah, here we go. I could put some more conveyor belts in here as well to um, really automate everything. Right, so now the potatoes are coming home. There we go. So that means the houses are going to start getting... Here we go, look. Start getting a different sort of food for the first time. And fruits and vegetables, uh, which counts as another happiness. So we're going to hopefully see this... Oh, <laughs> it just went down as I was looking at it. And uh, we should see that in increase further. We've got production of plus 50% as a result of all this happiness. Uh, we could actually do another house. Um, This land, this potato hill. Mm, God. Uh, at some point I might run a conveyor belt down here. God, look at that. <laughs> um, well, I'm actually basically emptying the barn at the moment. That'll slowly... Oh, apparently I'm... it's going up. Oh, I'm harvesting potatoes again. 
Oh, those must have been reactivated, but I think they were just like stood there for ages because there weren't any um there wasn't any room in the barn. But now okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of one of the guys. I'll just have one of them, so we will replace slowly replace them. Unfortunately, yes, the conveyor belt is absolutely crammed full of potatoes now, and everything else as well. Now, things are getting through, but things are getting backed up. Um, at some point, those potatoes will become less frequent, but it's not going to be for a long time yet. In fact, let's get rid of that worker for now. We can always bring him back. We'll put him on this side as well, later. God, the great potato queue of 2019. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we're finally going to have to do something about the stone, I think. This stone here, though, is all that's doing is feeding the base with stone bricks. And then it's, that's going over here to the general store. So I don't know if this is actually going to be necessary. Maybe we should think about just not having stone at all. We've got loads of stone in reserve, and we've also got this other stone thing made, being made here. We've got a barn full of stone here. Actually, where is it all going? There's literally just one wagon here. Which is doing nothing at the moment. I think it's because. I think that's a good point. I think there's some. I think this uh, a wagon is trying to take stone to a full barn. But that doesn't explain where the, why where there's no. St where's the stone going? Oh, hang hang on. There's also here. Right. So I'm gonna have to sort out this stone thing. I'm gonna have a, have a bit of a think about this. Okay. I've um completely solved the whole conveyor belt thing. Apart from the potatoes. There's too many of them. I'm going to leave that. Um, so now we've actually got some um, lumber coming out of here onto the conveyor belt, as well as the cloth, and because um, then we can get lumber over to the market and keep everyone happy. Um, this lot, though, have given up completely. All of them. Suddenly, all at once. Realise there's no stone left. And we have to delete everything. There's no stone here. Even if we have to delete these buildings. So now, after all this time, after after promising it right at the start. We are going to sort of um, sort out the Iron Age thing. We we're going to uh, get iron and coal, and I think we're going to bring it over here, simply because now there's absolutely shitloads of space up here. So we need a forge. It's going to be down here. The forge. Geordie La Forge. Um, well, we're going to need... And we're going to need um, people carrying... I might actually use a conveyor belt that goes underneath this conveyor belt to get the iron ore over here. Otherwise, I'll just use lads, I think. And that's kind of like going to be in the way, isn't it? Well, maybe I'll put it here instead. Yeah, let's put it here. Silo and lamppost. I haven't done any decoration yet. And we can also make nails, but I'm going to concentrate on iron plates. And so we will need... Well, all these lads can now... Coal... All of it. All of you. All, you know, yeah, might as well do all of them. Um, actually, we'll need some more to do um, to do the um, iron ore. And what I'll need... How many conveyor belts have I actually got now? We've only got 18. We're not really making many now. Um, We're not making... Oh, we're not getting any wood f for the wooden wheels. Right. So I think it's, that's possibly because we're taking all the, the wood onto our conveyor belt. I don't... Th Although there's these. Oh, hang on. There's actually a worker taking it still to here, but there's there's no... Oh, we've, we've actually got enough planks, haven't we? So what's the problem here? Oh, we've got too many wagon wheels. And oh, we haven't got any cloth. Oh, okay. So I think we're putting all the cloth out onto the conveyor belt. Yeah, but... Oh, we actually need stone as well. Oh, bloody hell. Well, we've got a barn full of it here. We should be taking some across here. That worker's not working. Why aren't you working? Where are you going? Oh, hang on. I think I'm going to get with that wagon. So this is... Yeah, they're all these all these guys are taking it to here, and they should be taking it to there for the stone. Okay. And um, we redirect you to there. And you... you which one are you? Oh, that's fine. You're taking it from there to there. That's fine. Right, so you're just going to stone up over there. I might actually add another lad. Right, hopefully this should actually get some conveyor belts up and running again. Once we've actually got the stone bricks. Oh, hang on! No, I've just realised I've missed out a step. I've, I've missed out, out the stonemason step. Um, I don't really... Yeah, I don't really want to take the stone directly there, because that's not going to work, is it? Okay, what I've quickly done is set up a new stonemason here. And because the trouble is, we can't get any of the good stone 
Um, because it's all going out on the conveyor belt, and that overrides the wagon, so the wagon never does anything. So get rid of him. Uh, so now we're getting stone there to there and to there, and we'll eventually start getting the- Yeah, we go, conveyor belts are now being made again. Thank God for that, because we were going to use quite a few now. So what I'm going to do here with the iron ore, I'm going to make the lads- I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to make the lads put that onto the conveyor belt just there. It's going to be a bit of a prick, just because there's, um, there's only one- only one of them will be able to do this at a time. Let's put road there. Right, unfortunately, this is going to go to the market. We don't want that. What we want it to do is come off the conveyor belt again and go to there. So I'm going to use my... I only discovered this about ten minutes ago. If you press C when you hover over anything, you're actually able to start using that without you know, as a shortcut. So what I need to do... This is going to be a bit tricky. Is... Yeah, this, oh, that works. Like that. And now we need a ramp of some description. And we need a stone pillar there. A ramp. So we could... I could do the old grabbing thing, but it's a bit fiddly to do that now. So we need that. Now we can grab. And we need a filter. Uh, what's it called? It's a, um, a pusher. And this is going to be just... Iron ore. Oh, where the hell is that? Mana shards and stuff. Actually, where is bloody iron ore? Oh, oh, there it is. Right, so the iron ore will go to there, the coal will go into there, and we'll start making our first iron plates. There we go. Nice. Logistics! Although we haven't actually started forging, I guess. Very slow going. We've actually got um, input. Oh, here we go. Yep, we're starting to do it now. We probably don't need so much coal. I'm actually going to get rid of one of these lads. And we do need two bits of iron to, for two bits of coal. We can actually use wood rather than coal, apparently, for this, but since we've got loads of coal there, we may as well use it. And we're not really getting a huge amount of this iron ore. I think I may have to add one more lad. So we can really start cooking with gas, well, coal. And so we need to start sending the iron plates to base. Uh, I'll, I'll just, for now, I'll just build a basic wagon. Going from there to there. I, mean, I could just use the grab technique, can't I? Right. Oh, no, that needs to be there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, forgot to get rid of all this, didn't I? Also, these lads. Let's get rid of them. Where are you going, bloody thing? Uh, huh. There, that'll do. Oh, look at you! <laughs> anyway, so we just need 50 of this, and we can actually upgrade our base. Uh, but that's going to take quite a while. Right, so there's now belt meltdown again. <laughs> belt down. Uh, because I am cramming more stuff onto here. Because we're not doing research, um, we've just completed boat building. There's nothing else we can really research at the moment. Um, so I've, I've made the lumber mill start making planks instead, which is completely filling up the conveyor belt. And there was, there was a whole backlog situation with a bit of leather and stuff, but yeah. So things are getting a bit backed up. Um, this wood... Oh god, everything's just... Oh, 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 oh. You know, I'll sort that out anyway. Anyway, I think we've... Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, we've now made enough iron plates for us to finally get our base upgrade. More houses and specialty goods. And that's, I, th I think, um, like a later game goods thing, um, which we'll do in the next episode. I think I need to have a think about how to cure this um, increased capacity and stuff like that. Uh, we might be able to make metal conveyor belts, actually, and that might speed things up immensely. So we'll look at that next time. Uh, thanks for watching, um, and see you then. Bye for now.